Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? Good evening and welcome to Louisville Late Night. This evening we're in beautiful Greater Louisville and uh, we're absolutely thrilled to have a real Kentucky hero here with us, Gatewood Galbraith. And Gatewood is going to be enlightening us on uh, life in Kentucky and also uh, his autobiography, which just came out, and it's a bestseller, and, and uh, we can't wait to tell you about it. Here, here's what it looks like. Right there. The last free man in America meets a synthetic subversion. And uh, just a few comments here. Every gentleman must re-win its own freedom. Every, must, every generation must rewind its own freedom. And every generation must produce an individual who will insist that our freedoms under the Constitution and Bill of Rights remain unabridged by those in power. This generation has produced Gatewood Galbraith, activist, attorney, marijuana smoker, gun owner, and the most successful independent candidate for a major office in America for several decades. Gatewood has defended individual rights in the streets, the courtrooms, and on political stages around the country, he may very well be the last free man in America. You need to bet. <laughs> now, he was born in a small town in Kentucky. Gatewood is an attorney, activist, author, cannabis smoker, and political maverick, who is the most successful independent, <coughs> independent candidate for a major office in America over the past 60 years. Boycotted by the media, Disparaged by both parties and without money, Gatewood has carried the torch for individual freedom and dignity throughout his campaigns for Commissioner of Agriculture, Governor three times, Congress twice, and Attorney General. His comments have, honored, have been honored as quote of the week by Newsweek and have landed him on the front page of the USA Today. Gatewood believes in less taxes and wants to take the government quote, out of our bedrooms, out of our bladders, our brains, our billfolds, our internet bulletin boards, and put them back in the little box where they belong. Now, comments, just a couple of comments on Gatewood's book. My pal has finally written the book I've been waiting to read. He's smart and funny and speaks the truth. He's a champion for the farmers and the working men and women of the world, and I hope they buy this book. I recommend it. Willie Nelson. Yeah, that, that's, pretty, that's a pretty good book. That. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that is a good one. How about this? I'm a diehard liberal Democrat, whereas Gatewood's an arch libertarian, so it stands the reason that we wouldn't always see eye to eye on everything. Nonetheless, his irrepressible candor, his uncommon common sense, and his fool's Russian political courage have persuaded me to vote for the last free man in America. Three times. Gatewood Galbraith is a genuine American original, and his autobiography is a kick-ass good read. Funny, volatile, intelligent, entertaining, challenging, righteous, and as irreverent as the Antichrist. This book is a natural contact high. After you've read it, you'll want to roll it up and smoke it. That's uh, Ed McClanahan, author of Famous People I Have Known. One more little, little comment here. Gatewood Galbraith's memoir has cured me of a fatal disease. I no longer believe that those who enter the political arena and those who put into practice a humanistic philosophy must be mutually exclusive. His pro-choice stance on all the important issues includes his choices to remain free. 
And the bonus is that he doesn't take himself as seriously as his causes. Paul Krasner. So, Gatewood, welcome back to Louisville Late Night. Well, thank you, Patrick. To you, to you and all your, uh, all your viewers. And, and uh, we have been delighted to have Gatewood here with us. Uh, four other uh, uh, Louisville Late Night shows. And, and, have, and, have I been on that up? Well, you've been on uh, four time, four separate shows, and they've each been on about four times, so it's about 16. Well, I hope it don't wear out my welcome. <laughs> Not by a long shot, Gatewood. You're just getting started as far as we're concerned. Um, this book, The uh, Last Free Man in America, uh, at some point, Gatewood, there's a couple of uh, little passages, passages I would like to read.